Hi everyone, it's Ileana and I have a cute little Valentine's Day card to share with you today. I am going to start off with a card base. This is the Gina K Heavy Base cardstock and I'm just going to use the centering portion of my cut -a line to create two little tick marks on the top and the bottom that tell me where the center is. I'm going to line it up inside the Misty and I'm going to use the three inch mark as my um, line so that I know that that is the center. Once I have that taped down into the Misty, um, you'll see that I just flipped it open and I only taped the underside. So it's just the bottom part of the card panel that's taped down. Once I have the um, stencil lined up and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Heart Mandala stencil. I'm going to tape down any of the edges that are overhanging the cardstock. I've cut out a heart from the Hero Arts Infinity Heart dies and I'm actually going to overlay it on top of the stencil. Uh, by doing this I'm avoiding um, those intricate pieces from pulling up away from the paper and it's also going to give me a place to um, start my ink blending. I'm going to start with the Distress Oxide Picked Raspberry with my Picket Fence brushes. I like the brushes with stencils because it makes it really easy to get into those tight spaces on these intricate stencils. Um, the little brushes, the little brush hairs just go in between just perfect. So it makes it really easy to blend on intricate stencils. Once I get this down, I'm going to add a little bit of the abandoned coral. I did use a bigger brush and I'm trying to keep the abandoned coral so that it's really light on the edges. But when I added the abandoned coral, the picked raspberry got a little bit lost. And so I'm going to go back and add a little bit more of the picked raspberry. And I still felt like it needed to have a little bit more color to make it just a little bit more Valentine's Day. Um, I know that Abandoned Coral is the Pantone color and the only reason why I'm using it is because I was too lazy to think about any other color to start with. Um, but now I'm uh, using the smallest brush in the picked Picket Fences um, brush line and I'm just using it to do a tiny tiny little bit around the heart. Kind of trying to make it to look like it's a little bit of a red glow. Once I have that done, I'm going to go back and I'm going to blend everything together with the picked raspberry. And I'm going to pull everything off and this is the part that always makes it all worthwhile and you get to see what it looks like. Now I'm going to take my panel and I'm going to put it back in the Misty and I'm going to put the little birds from the Gina K All You Need Is Love stamp set. And I'm just going to center the two little birds right in the middle. I intended on stamping them with amalgam ink, which I did, and then go back and do over stamping, but I totally forgot by the end of the video. I was so excited at how, at how cute the card was looking that I forgot to go back and do my over stamping that I like to do. So I'm going to take my little birds and I'm going to start coloring them in. I'm going to take a little scrap piece of my grid paper and I'm just going to put it down so that my hand doesn't smear any of the oxide. It's freshly done so I didn't want to take a chance. Once I have the hearts all done, I'm going to um, 
color my birds in. I wasn't really sure what color to do the birds and so I pulled out this color wheel and I went with the corally red color and saw that it was like a tealish color for um, that would be the complementary color. And then I pulled out this practice sheet that I got from doing the online card classes for Copic coloring and they give you these little sheets that kind of give you hints on how to color things in and so I just followed an example that I had done and it in the class I learned that you can use gray colors to do your shading so instead of picking three colors of blue you could use um, a gray color to create your shading so I started off with the B BG 11 and then added the BG 15 went back and added the shading with the C3 and then blended everything back together and I only did the uh, tail and the uh, feather and the wings on the video um, since the rest of the birds were, were the same then for the underbelly I used C0 and C1 I did get a little bit of the blue bleeding into the belly and so I just used the C0 number and I just push that color back. I'm also using that same color to create a shadow for where the birds were standing just so they look a little bit grounded and they're not just floating. Um, I ended up using YG, I'm sorry, Y15 for the beak. Now I'm going to do my little sentiment strip. So I have this little scrap piece of paper that normally I would throw away because you can't do much with it and I'm going to stamp with the sentiment strip that's in the same stamp set with my ink on three and I'm going to heat emboss that using the Brutus Monroe alabaster ink. Once I heat set that I'm going to trim it down and I'm going to be using the new cut line and I wanted to start cutting it on my black cutting mat but then I couldn't really see the edges of the cardstock so I wanted to <laughs> make it a little bit easier on myself and so I just pulled out that closest thing that I had to me which was the scrap paper and I'm just going to put that underneath and I'm just going to use that as a way to see the the cardstock so I just lined up the sentiment with the um, 116 line so basically you just line up the bottom of your sentiment with one of the lines on the cut line then you drop your blade into the cutting guide and you're just going to uh, you're going to make sure everything's lined up and then you're just going to drop your blade right into that cutting guide and you're just going to um, basically you're going to write with your blade and you do that a couple of times and then it'll just um, cut in the same spot and you don't have to worry about um, your blade going astray or anything like that. The cut line holds your blade in place. So I'm going to do that on both sides. And you do want to put your finger right above where that little um, card strip is otherwise the blade will end up moving it under your finger. I'm going to line up the sentiment using my MISTI. I did mount it with some black foam and I'm just going to use the L square from the creative corners and I'm just going to press my sentiment right on it so that it's all lined up. Once it's straight I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of bling. I'm adding some pretty pink posh sparkling clear confetti and I'm using my crystal katana with my multi matte medium. Once that's done I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer spray to it and that really did the final touches for it. I sprayed it from high above so that I wouldn't get any droplets and it just created this soft shimmer on the card. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hope you have a great day. Bye.